You know that horrible green light that you get with the iPhone photos and you're pointing to the sun or pointing to something really bright? They fixed it. G'day guys, Shane Austin here. I do two videos each and every week all about small sensor photography, generally with mobile phones. So if you've got a phone and you take photos with that phone, this is a channel you want to get on. So what we're talking about today is that lens flare that comes onto most mobile phones, but the iPhones, well, it's now fixed. What we're talking about here is this green dot. This green dot is a lens flare, if you like. When you, you get this really when you're shooting into the sun, into the, directly into the sun, and it puts that green light dot coming around the screen, like you can see here. Well, all mobile phones do this. Well, all mobile, modern mobile phones do this. My Samsung Galaxy S21 does it. My Pixel 4a does it. The Huawei P40 Pro does it. And the iPhone 12 Pro Max does it. There's probably a few around that don't do it, but I'm telling you now, all of those do it. Some of them do it better than others, as in get rid of it better than others. And Apple have finally jumped on that wagon and they got rid of it. Let me explain. You're going to need a phone that is going to be able to upgrade to iOS 15 because in iOS 15, when you take a live photo now, the algorithm in that, in that computational photography, what it does is it works out that, hey, there's a sun glare there, or there's a lens flare there, let's get rid of it. I'll show you. I'm gonna take a photo of this truck here. The sun's setting right there, because I'm really bright in this video here, and uh, I'm gonna show you this lens flare and show you how it works. Once you've upgraded your phone, and it needs to be one of these phones here, you need to be this model phone or later to upgrade to iOS 15, but once you do, your camera's gonna change a little bit, and it's done some pretty cool things. This, though, is one of the best things that it's fixed. This has been a problem with iPhones for a bloody long time, and it, it's fixed it to an extent. It hasn't fixed it wholeheartedly in every single photo that you're going to take. It's going to get confused and run home to mama and say, well, I can't fix it, leave it the way it is. But in many situations, it's actually fixed it. What I'll do here, I'll take this photo, you don't need to be on a tripod or anything like that, but I'll take a photo of this truck here, and you can see, as I move this around, you can see that green dot moving there. And that green dot is the sun flare or the lens flare from the sun. The way we're going to fix it, it has to be a live photo. So I'll turn on live up the top there and I'm going to take that photo. The photo's now taken, I'll go into that gallery and it's gone. If I touch and hold, you'll see it's there. I'll let it go, it's gone. The phone has worked out that's a lens flare and it got rid of it. It doesn't always fix it though. What I'll do at the moment, that little glare, that sun glare, that little lens flare, it's sitting up in the sky and the, the phone is smart enough and what they've done to this is they're smart enough that they've worked out that when there's little green dots up in the sky, get rid of it because it's not meant to be there. What I'll do though, let's see if I can confuse it a little bit because it doesn't work all the time. If I move that down, the composition of this photo is just bloody terrible. But if I move that down to say, just in between those trees there, and you can see it there, and I'll take the same photo, we'll see if that worked. You can see it in the trees, and it's still there. So when it's up against something else, like trees or an object that it doesn't immediately identify of what it is, it kind of hides in there. So if you can, compose the photo so that it's, uh, I'll get back into the camera there, Compose the photo so that, well, there, so the green dot is in the air or against something that's plain and solid, and it's going to get rid of it pretty well for you, like that. And if I go into that photo now and have a look, it's gone. Really good way to fix it. Really, really well done, Apple. Happy that you've done that, and so many people are going to be happy that you've done that as well. That's it for today, guys. I'll catch you later.